The month of Sri Lanka seemed ideal, especially after Thailand's Koh Phangan Island. The plan is simple. We wanted to do some meditation, so we'll visit some ancient ruins and Buddhist temples. We started out from Colombo, the capital. We then obtained a car and a driver for a few days due to the distances we would need to cover. First stop, Palanarua. We spent a lot of time sitting in Galvajara. A good place to think about meditation, and naturally it got me thinking about Siddhartha, aka Buddha, who spent many years meditating. The older monkeys seemed okay with this concept, but obviously the younger ones felt otherwise. Christina doesn't really like monkeys, so it's time to go. Not much of a tantric monument, but quite a peaceful place all the same. The Dambula Caves are sure to be monkey free. The site dates back over 2,000 years. These caves, which are temples, also provided refuge in the past. They house 153 Buddha statues, three statues of kings, and four statues of gods, two of which are Hindu. We decide to use pedal power to cover the vast Anuradhapura complex, one of Sri Lanka's three ancient capitals, starting from the 4th century BC. And it covers over 16 square miles. The site houses dozens of dagobas, monastic buildings, and pokuns. But we came to see the sacred Bodhi tree. The story goes that the Buddha, after enlightenment, spent a week in front of a tree, gazing at it in gratitude. Then in 288 BC, a branch of that same tree was brought to Sri Lanka, then called Ceylon, and planted here. That small branch grew into a huge tree, now known as the Budi tree, now the oldest verified tree in the world. We came to see the tree, the pilgrims, and perhaps to find our own enlightenment. With all this activity, I found enlightenment fleeting. So I took the next best thing. I took two leaves that fell from the tree. It's a sacred place that welcomes all. Well, everyone except monkeys, that is.